working at Nintendo. 316. Jason 316 says, I just kicked your ass. Alright, let's complete a dungeon that I skipped out on earlier. So, I did make it to floor 61 here last time, but I upgraded my weapon, so I'm a little stronger now. As you can see, I'm dealing 350,000 fucking damage. Uh, that's because I added ignored defense 45%. This isn't the cap, uh, this was just by using, uh, what is it, Iku's Drill. At level 180, I want to say, I threw it on uh, Uriyoki Tempest. Also gave myself another, like, 1000 attack power. Uh, other than that, I don't think I really, I mean, there's not much else I uh, added. I did upgrade my armor a bit too. I added uh, vitality up. This is the cap of vitality up. It doesn't get any higher. It requires a level 200 uh, serious wolf plus a level any level uh, spiral incubator. I can definitely upgrade this though. There's a uh, what is it? It's a uh, bunch of goopy bananas. Actually has a base of 75% vitality enhancement. I th I can't remember what the cap is though. The cap is like a level 300 item. I remember that. I think it's like the bunch of Eve figs. I think it's like plus 100%. That affects Cure Seal as well. But it's, not like, it's not like I need any better Cure Seal, right? Look at that, I just recovered like 40,000, 50, 60,000 hit points in one hit. Okay, game. But as you can see, the enemies are at level like 600 something, so that makes my level in comparison very low, so they get ridiculous defense. That's why I need my Penetrate Defend. Also, Intensely Cold Season. Actually, Intensely Fuck You se <laughs> Season. Okay, can you, can you not... The worst is when they get Koga Sad. Alright, I don't have to do anything fancy here. I can just skip. Ooh, I created a kiss from it. 937,000 experience. We also have a ridiculous amount of food. Yeah, hopefully my gear can last me the next 30 something floors. Hopefully the enemy's level doesn't climb too quickly. At least my level will climb quickly. I'm at level 670. I like the the penetrate defense. It's like 1,000, 1, it's like 1,500, 1,500, 40, all right, I just hope I don't meet a, uh, a store clerk. Sure. Dang it. A store clerk floor, because uh, ignore defense does not work on them. It makes it tedious when you're only doing one damage and they have like 100,000 hit points. Watch as I just jin jinxed myself. If I did ever find one of those floors, I'd probably have to like use a, a light card and then find out where the exit is and hope I can tunnel there before any enemy can surround me. If they're not just killing me outright. So I have fan have on it. 45 and 20, is that better for me? No, because my Float Slayer has 70 and 35, okay. I've also been working on powering up an Evil Awakening. I don't know why, it's just that I, I, need, it at one, I need it at plus 120. So, when you get this, you have to use a bunch of uh, uh, the pillows, and then you make uh, a Super Saiyan aura. But you have to bring it down to level 99 in order to make Evil Awakening, and then from Evil Awakening to get the next one, you have to bring it back up to plus 120, so it's a pain in the fucking ass. Also, hello, Lost Article Talismans. I think I said this before, but this is like accelerated, uh, accelerated, uh, Innocent Heart. You piece of shit. Oh, I guess she didn't do anything. I've also been trying to do Money Dungeon, but the 99th floor Money Dungeon... The 99th floor dun Money Dungeon is ridiculous. Like, it gets, once you get to floor 70, it gets, like, level 10,000 enemies, and, uh, yeah, they suck. I had, uh, Shinimio, uh, what is it, Shinimiyoma to hit me for, I think, like, 2 million? I'm like, yep, and I can't really ever defend against that because it penetrates defense. <laughs> the solution? Use a light card and just kill them before they can do anything. Alright, is the exit gonna be in this room? Yeah, it is. I also have my count- oh, hello, big flounder. I also have my counter, uh, seal back just because, you know, quickly getting done. And I'm not grinding, uh, Dodaimis right now, so... You know what, just for fun. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> How much experience did that give me? 1.9 million. Uh, can I kill you? Yeah, I can. Double spark. Forbidden fruit, what's that do? Makes me insane. Guess what? Immune to insane. <laughs> I wish you guys still gave experience when you uh, killed them without pissing them off. I'm just gonna kill you guys because I get frustrated by them in areas where they're too strong for me. This, these places are also a dismantle fest. Unfortunately, you don't get too many points here. That's where I'm starting to have trouble with my melding. It's the point cost. Get a level like every couple of kills here. Incinerated food. Soften uh, enough of that in the junk garden. Alright, enemies are stronger. Yep, 750. Hello, enemies. Also, hello, silence. 
Hey, hey, Gensel Conqueror! What's this sun house pillow have on it? Impact heal plus three. Not really that great. Also, enemy experience. I think enemy experience is really enhanced in here. Too bad I can't start on this floor to get this type of experience. It's concert time? Concert time! Hooray! Yay, playing music! Yay, fuck your music! Alright, where's Umiya so I can counterattack and kill her instantly? Surprise! No, it's shopkeepers! I guess your hit points isn't too bad yet. Dang it, Mamizos! Dang it, where's the exit? Fuck off, Mamizo! I'll just counterattack you to death, I'm just gonna keep moving. Exit, please, there you are. No, fuck off! <laughs> Alright, what's Koishi's icon? That's relief, right? 40%. I think I have 40% on mine. No, I have 50% on mine. And it doesn't help at all when an enemy, even when they're... Even with 50% damage, will probably still hit me for like a million. It's like a million experience for a creator, Kisame. Are money gaps even worth much in here? Oh, they're actually not too bad. Also, spirits. <laughs> I didn't want to save these for a floor with like creator Kisame's on them, but I don't care at this point. If you're wondering why I'm keeping all these lost article talismans, they're actually fun to use in like... Clock remains. Because uh, enemies in the last floors there drop really good stuff, so you can force make them you can force them to drop items. Where you at, Umia? There you are. Man, the experience. It's like, yay, I dodged! Wait, I'm dead, because you hit for like eleven times. What am I gonna do with all this stuff? Throw into a gap. So much am I hitting for now? Still four thousand and then ninety thousand? Damage variance is crazy. <laughs> Give me monies. Oh, not so much here. <laughs> no, invisible! Alright, Big Flandra. Ah, oh, there's the fl Oh, experience! Where's all the Rumias? Well, who cares? I'll just go to the next floor. <laughs> I can put to sleep, but I can counter while I'm asleep. Chuck this, chuck this, chuck this, chuck this, chuck this, and this, and this. Man, I'm gonna make a huge pile of useless trash. <laughs> nah, they're just gone now. I've killed level 10,000 enemies, level 900s are nothing. <laughs> Alright, so I've never done this dungeon before, so I hope there's like some sort of reward. There's Big Flandre, yep, knew it. Alright, daily double. Also, nice XP from them. It's nice when enemies give this much experience. Ooh, golden box. Got a puppet slayer, it's 4510. Is that better? No. I think it's such a crazy damage variance. Here I counter. Misfortune Vengeance. All sorts of suakos and hinas. Another spirit gap. That's the spirit. Ten floors to go. Nine floors to go. Big Chen, 1,000. Is 1,000 where they're gonna cap out? It's like 200,000, 350,000 damage. I think these enemies have like 5,000 hit points. I don't know, it looks like they have about 15,000 hit points. Yeah, so Cure Seal can only absorb as much as the hit points that they have. Which is why Cure Seal doesn't absorb a lot in the early floors. This experience, though. Alright, now I just hope I can get to the uh, exit. Oh, there we go. That works. Sakiya's gonna get everybody killed. Trash items that are good for putting into gaps like money gaps, transform gaps. This can go in too. Generally, there's not very good stuff here, though. It really makes stuff that just drops on the floor, but there's not really good stuff that drops on the floor here. Whoa, suddenly Pandemonium. And suddenly Big Flandra. It's like so much for items here. Anytime an enemy drops an item, it's like, EXPLOSION! See? <laughs> and he's like, these are all mine! All mine! Give me! Give! 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 Give me! <laughs> Useless trash everywhere! Dang it! I hate it when they go invisible. Also, my Dunmoke doesn't penetrate defense, so I can't really do any damage. Will she really take two hits? Oh, my first one didn't do any, uh, ignore defense, even with a 40% uh, chance or 45% chance. Just a mite of bad luck. There's a Yugi! Final floor! Watch me not find the exit until the last room. Also, spear cap. <laughs> and 3 million experience. Was I right? Am I gonna find the, uh, exit on the last room I check? Probably. God, my luck is bad. Second last room. <laughs> Alright, I win! That's a generic photo. I finished my training, but I'm going to get even stronger. 
I mean... So that open up training too? Yeah, of course it did. There's gonna be, what is it? Easy, normal, hard. It's gonna do the same compression here. Easy, normal, hard. Then lunatic, and it's gonna be like... Up to level 10,000 enemies, that's only... Yeah, that's probably it. So probably gonna need... This is gonna get ridiculous. I know this is gonna get ridiculous. I think the only logical thing is to, uh... Go here. <laughs> and do something like, I don't know, an innocent heart. I mean, I'm pretty already- I'm pretty much already doing it. These enemies are weaker than the enemies I was just facing, so... I should have no problem here, right? Also, like, ignore defense doesn't work on the bosses, so... That is one thing that might be a little worrying. I think I'm also level 1300. God, I hope the exit wasn't in the maze room. Oh, nope, here it is. Go fast! It's what counter is for. I say go fast, but I keep, like, finding the exit in the last room. Oh, big Shinyo Maru. It's time to dismantle. And dat mantle. A lot of enemies, but that's fine. I can use the experience. I'm getting close to level 1400. I dash is amazing. I dash plus counter is amazing. Having 11 attacks so I can hit Iku is amazing too. I wish I had some more quick floors. Instead of every floor finding the uh, exit in the very last room. I think I can, I can do Doremi shenanigans inside uh, the Money Dungeon too, but... That was just a pain in the ass because you can't start on whatever floor you want. These floors are annoying. Unless things work out just like this. Oh, there's gonna be a pandemonium. This is called Get Experience for Your Extra Pieces of Armor. Get out of the maze room. Take a shortcut away from this room. Get some more max hit points. Drink all this. So much tea, get bloated. You bitch. So many enemies in the first room. Four, three, sixteen. Jason 316 says I just kicked your ass. Can I already just turbulence to like to the next square over? Nah, Sakuya, you're so silly. It's a bug! I think I've gotten an additional like thousand extra HP just by drinking teas. Actually, it's probably already higher than that. Oh, you know what? This is annoying. <laughs> this is how you get through this floor. Fuck those traps. Alright, first 20 floors done. I think I have to throw another extra thousand attack power on my weapon just because I can. So the, the smart thing to do is use the same type of weapon because you need a, a weapon like attack power bonus. Oh, holy enemies. Like if you're using a level 200 Udayoki Tempest and you want to meld something out, meld a bunch of stuff together and then put it onto another Udayoki Tempest and it gives it way more attack power. Oh yeah, I was going to put a Boost Hound Suica. Did I put a Boost Hound Suica on here? No, I, but I have a level 200, so I do. it's going to be attack range up plus 100. It's going to be 105%. So it's gonna make me do an extra 5%. Goddamn maze rooms. The distinct lack of quick floors is making this a little annoying. So many bunnies. Oh, so that guy's worth a lot of experience. Big Flandras. Wonder if I can get any by using this. Hi guys. Bye guys. Don't wanna go all the way back around. Also, where the fuck is the exit? <laughs> Enemies disappears. Bye! Heads up, Yuki's just throwing things everywhere. Everybody's confused. Leave during the confusion. Ooh, that was a... That worked out conveniently. Times when c counter is great. There's so many pandemoniums I've been finding. Yep, another pandemonium. Oh, this is gonna be another... There's gonna be some pandemoniums. Oh, how much damage did I do? Fucking one million? Don't need all these items on the floor. What I need to do is advanced floors. Creator Kisimus for big experience. That's right, line up nicely. Dang it, not one of these floors again. It's way better if it's the full water version of it. Cause I can just fly everywhere. Nom 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 nom. Fuck random trans teleports. See Sucky has getting everybody killed. See, Sakuya's still getting everything killed. Everyone must hate Sakuya. The only reason this place takes so long is because I'm bad at finding the exit and therefore I pick up more items and therefore I have to spend so much time dismantling shit. So it's the game's fault, not mine. The game has to make better, uh, randomly generated dungeons. I like how I'm hitting the enemies for over a million damage. And yet I'll hit the boss for like 5,000. See, Sakuya again. 
All the enemies are like, Sakuya, why you do this? Again, having bad luck finding the exit. Really bad luck finding the exit. Last room again. Why am I having such bad luck this time? I think this dungeon's feeling tedious just because there's a thousand fucking floors. Do I need to take a breather yet? Nah, I got space in my gaps. All oh, the crits, what did I hit for? 2.2 million. Did I see a gold box around here? Yeah, I did. Nice do dodge, idiot. I'll take my experience back. How much is that worth? 3 million experience. So I'm at the point where one suction is 3 million experience. Which is enough to power up a B rank weapon instantly to max level to use for melding. I mean, if you want to give me double speed, that's fine. No fire in your lasers, you piece of shit. That's why I bring antidotes. And immediately into a pandemonium room. And creator Kisamez. Experience. Ooh, gold box. That's a big animal slayer. That's probably better. Yep, better animal slayer. I can't wait till all these slayer seals are completely obsolete when I get uh, the high level he saw. Which is not gonna happen for a very long time. High level he saw is three weapons at level 999. It's ridiculous. See, Sakuya's is getting everybody killed again. And again. And again. And again. Everyone's like, we don't want to be on the same floor as you anymore. See, every time, last room I check. And of course, Maze Room. Knew it. It's gonna exploderate the room. Can't wait to go in the Pandemonium and she explodes the room again. Dang it, Kaguya. Oh, at least the exit just went back to the room I came from. <laughs> Bye! Weapon Mastery. Shinmyo Maru with her needle. That's quite the Weapon Mastery. Then again, high level Shinmyo Maru's and their super damage is... Yeah, I can see it, Weapon Mastery. There's gonna be a pandemonium! Thank you. It's awfully nice of her to keep buffing me. Alright, what can we expect in this pandemonium? Any gold chests? Come on, you're getting things killed. Just let Counter take care of everything. The pandemonium where I can't see anything. Now I can. Ooh, gold box. Super hard slayer, that's actually interesting. Both of these are interesting weapons. Keep them. Come on there, I thought, is it a bug? Ooh, that tail is going crazy. Now I know- whoa, enemies. The exit is right here. Quick breather, dump some stuff off. Alright, last sector. And typical bad luck finding the exit. So is this, this just a Hina floor? Hina's everywhere. Fearful sisters. There's gonna be some vampires. And some hunger champions. Oh yeah, Satori and Koishi. Prism River Sisters! Oh, exit. Subterranean Animism, so it has Kisumez! Oh, Sakya's gonna get her all her friends killed. See? Knew it. There's another one. You're so dumb, Sakya. She's like, I'm gonna do a sneak attack when you're attacking something else. And it's like, where did my partner go? You piece of shit! Sage's training facility. It just has cut annoying cuss ends in them. And of course, I was in the first room. Fucking game. Oh, big Flandra. Flandra's like, I'm just gonna keep exploding the room as more items show up. Now there's more Sage's shenanigans. Especially in hallways. Fuck hallways. Good, I need all this Dunmaku gauge back because fucking. Sage, I reverse my gauge. It's like, screw it, don't feel like bothering with her. 1.6 million damage. I wonder how out of control the numbers in this game get. I remember reading the Disgaea series, the numbers get pretty bad. Same with I have Lipicell Tactics for the PlayStation 2, and the numbers in that game got pretty out of hand, too. Five floors left to go. 
enemies worth about 150,000 experience. It's funny seeing enemies in like the money dungeon that are worth like 1.5 million. 3 million. And then Shimi Yomaru walks up to you and hits you for 1 million. Let's make him go all the way back here. Yep, fuck you, game. <laughs> it's gonna make me all go all the way back again, god damn it. So bad. And a big ass fucking maze room. Alright, we're almost ready for some boss action. Alright, what boss is it throwing, it at, throwing at us this time? Okay, it's gonna be. Unyoho. Dang it! That did a whole damn. dealt 66 damage. I'm killing your little Unyus! Unyuho. Alright, I should get in range to do some damage. Also, hi, Black Cloud. Alright, you ready for this? <laughs> Screw you, boss! Damage. No, screw you guys. Oh, this boss just gets rid of all your status stuff. No, just sit here and deal damage. Damage. 50,000, 50, 000, 50 oh, okay, you're fucked. And no rewards. Kinda sucks. Return to base on floor 400. Alright, well, that's another section of Innocent Heart done. I don't know what to do next time. Maybe another section of that? Maybe one of the other dungeons? Maybe some more pain dungeons. Alright. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? If you did, leave a comment, like it, and share it. You can click on the left button if you want to subscribe, and the right one to watch more save scumming tactics. Thanks for watching!